In this video, I am going to explain session 3 sharing worksheet data of unit 2 electronic spreadsheet. Now, first of all, here I am going to explain issue that is there in accessing the data or files those are available in shared drive. But before that, what is a shared drive? So, actually, as we know that computer network we are establishing for various purposes such as we can share the hardware, software, we can easily share data also. So, here I am going to focus on one advantage that we are getting by establishing a computer network. So, actually, you know, a computer network always one computer is considered as a server and this computer which is we are considering as a server is having the capabilities more than all other computers in the sense that we can say that this server has the processing speed more than all other computers those are in the network as well as having the storage space more than all other computers those are in the network so what is happening in the case of this shared drive that in the server computer uh, various drives are there but one drive is mentioned as a shared drive and all those files those we want to allow other network users to access or share those all files are kept in the shared drive of the server computer so all the users those are in the network are accessing files from the shared drive of server computer but in this case the problem or issue is what that here whenever suppose one file is there and that is kept in the shared drive of the server and if someone in the network has already accessed that file then that person will be only able to do changes or edit the content of the file others can open and access that file but others will be only able to access the file in the read only mode means they will only be able to access the content can read the content but cannot do any change in the content that is available in the file so that is the issue when we are keeping the data that we want to share with other users in the shared drive of the server computer so in this case the solution that spreadsheet programs are providing is what that here spreadsheet programs are providing one option and by using that option we can easily share workbooks of the spreadsheet program with other users those are in the network so in this case if suppose five users are there in the network so all those five users can access the workbook at the same time as well as they all will be able to change the content of the workbook also so this is the positive point when we are sharing the workbook by using option that is available in the spreadsheet program so because of this as many users are able to access and edit the content of the file at the same time so this will result in speed up data entry means data entry speed can be increased as well as here we can easily achieve collaboration also means many network users can give their input in the same workbook now how to share the workbook so here i am going to use ms excel to show you how to share a workbook so now moving to it so here one blank uh, worksheet i have opened of workbook and now i am going to show you how to share this workbook so in excel whenever you want to share the workbook so for that just click on the review tab of the menu bar and then here we are getting changes group and in the changes group we have to use this option that is share workbook now here we are getting editing tab so in the editing tab we are getting one option that is allow changes by more than one user at the same time this also allows workbook merging so here when we check this checkbox so in that case more than one user will be able to change the content of this workbook and here because of this option users will be able to combine workbooks also and thereafter here next we are getting who has this workbook open now so here we will get those users in this list and thereafter we have to click on ok and after this all the users those on the network will be able to access this workbook but now here one limitation is there that users those are in the network will not be able to format the content means they will not be able to apply condition formatting or formatting of the text because if they are doing this then in that case other users who are using the same data will face issue in accessing the same content so that's why formatting is not allowed and here merging of cells will not be also possible but two workbooks can be combined here so this is all about how to share the workbook in microsoft excel and here i am using microsoft excel because of one reason that in the syllabus microsoft excel is used to explain this concept and uh, open office calc is not used so that's why i'm also using the same so here now this session 3 of unit 2 is ending and session 4 of unit 2 will be covered in the next video so this video now i'm going to end here